Krakow, written in English as Krakow, is the second largest and one of the oldest cities in Poland. Situated on the Vistula River in Lesser Poland province, the city dates back to the 7th century. Krakow was the official capital of Poland until 1596 and has traditionally been one of the leading centers of Polish academic, economic, cultural and artistic life. Cited as one of Europe's most beautiful cities, its old town was declared the first UNESCO World Heritage Site in the world. The city has grown from a Stone Age settlement to Poland's second most important city. It began as a hamlet on Wawel Hill and was reported as a busy trading center of Central Europe in 965. With the establishment of new universities and cultural venues at the emergence of the Second Polish Republic in 1918 and throughout the 20th century, Krakow reaffirmed its role as a major national academic and artistic center. The city has a population of about 780,000 with approximately 8 million additional people living within a 100 km radius of its main square. After the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany at the start of World War II, the newly defined district Krakow became the capital of Germany's general government. The Jewish population of the city was forced into a walled zone known as the Krakow Ghetto, from where they were sent to German extermination camps such as the nearby Auschwitz, and Nazi concentration camps like Plaszow. However, the city was spared from destruction and major bombing. In 1978, Karol Wojtyla, Archbishop of Krakow, was elevated to the papacy as Pope John Paul II, the first non-Italian pope in 455 years. Also that year, UNESCO approved Krakow's entire old town and historic center as its first World Heritage Site alongside Quito. Krakow is classified as a global city with the ranking of high sufficiency by the Globalization and World Cities Research Network. Its extensive cultural heritage across the epochs of Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture includes Wawel Cathedral and Wawel Royal Castle on the banks of the Vistula, St. Mary's Basilica, Saints Peter and Paul Church and the largest medieval market square in Europe, Reinach Gloni. Krakow is home to Jagiellonian University, one of the oldest universities in the world and traditionally Poland's most reputable institution of higher learning. In 2000, Krakow was named European Capital of Culture. In 2013, Krakow was officially approved as a UNESCO City of Literature. The city hosted World Youth Day in July 2016. Etymology The name of Krakow is traditionally derived from Krakus, the legendary founder of Krakow and a ruler of the tribe of Leczysians. In Polish, Krakow is an archaic possessive form of crack and essentially means, cracks. The true origin of the name is highly disputed among historians, with many theories in existence and no unanimous consensus. The first recorded mention of Prince Krakus dates back to 1190, although the town existed as early as the 7th century, when it was inhabited by the tribe of Vistulans. It is possible that the name of the city is derived from the word, kruk, meaning crow or raven. The city's full official name is Stolichens Kroluski Miasto Krakow, which can be translated as, Royal Capital City of Krakow. In English, a person born or living in Krakow is a Krakowian. While in the 1990s the English version of the name was often written Krakow, the most widespread modern English version is Krakow. History Krakow's early history begins with evidence of a Stone Age settlement on the present site of the Wawel Hill. A legend attributes Krakow's founding to the mythical ruler Krakus, who built it above a cave occupied by a dragon, Smok Wawelski. The first written record of the city's name dates back to 965, when Krakow was described as a notable commercial center controlled first by Moravia, but captured by a Bohemian duke Bolslaus I in 955. The first acclaimed ruler of Poland, Mieszko I, took Krakow from the Bohemians and incorporated it into the holdings of the Piast dynasty towards the end of his reign. In 1038, Krakow became the seat of the Polish government. By the end of the 10th century, the city was a leading center of trade. Brick buildings were constructed, including the Royal Wawel Castle with St. Felix and a Daukt Rotunda, Romanesque churches such as St. Adalbert's, a cathedral, and a basilica. 
The city was sacked and burned during the Mongol invasion of 1241. It was rebuilt practically identical, based on New Location Act and incorporated in 1257 by the High Duke Bolesław v. the Chaste who following the example of Wrocław, introduced city rights modeled on the Magdeburg law allowing for tax benefits and new trade privileges for the citizens. In 1259, the city was again ravaged by the Mongols. A third attack in 1287 was repelled thanks in part to the new-built fortifications. In 1335, King Casimir III of Poland declared the two western suburbs to be a new city named after him, Casimirs. The defensive walls were erected around the central section of Casimirs in 1362, and a plot was set aside for the Augustinian order next to Skalka. The city rose to prominence in 1364, when Casimir III of Poland founded the University of Krakow, the second oldest university in Central Europe after the Charles University in Prague. King Casimir also began work on a campus for the academy in Casimirs, but he died in 1370 and the campus was never completed. The city continued to grow under the joint Lithuanian-Polish Jagiellon dynasty. As the capital of the Kingdom of Poland and a member of the Hanseatic League, the city attracted many craftsmen from abroad, businesses, and guilds as science and the arts began to flourish. The Royal Chancery and the University ensured a first flourishing of Polish literary culture in the city. Krakow's Golden Age, the 15th and 16th centuries were known as Poland's Zlaty Week or Golden Age. Many works of Polish Renaissance art and architecture were created, including ancient synagogues in Krakow's Jewish quarter located in the northeastern part of Kazimierz, such as the Old Synagogue. During the reign of Casimir IV, various artists came to work and live in Krakow, and Johann Haller established a printing press in the city after Kaspar Straub had printed the Calendarium Krakowiens, the first work printed in Poland, in 1473. In 1520, the most famous church bell in Poland, named Zygmunt after Sigismund I of Poland, was cast by Hans Behem. At that time, Hans Dürer, a younger brother of artist and thinker Albrecht Dürer, was Sigismund's court painter. Hans von Kulmbach made altarpieces for several churches. In 1553, the Casimir's district council gave the Jewish Kahal a license for the right to build their own interior walls across the western section of the already existing defensive walls. The walls were expanded again in 1608 due to the growth of the community and influx of Jews from Bohemia. In 1572, King Sigismund II, the last of the Jagellons, died childless. The Polish throne passed to Henry III of France and then to other foreign-based rulers in rapid succession, causing a decline in the city's importance that was worsened by pillaging during the Swedish invasion and by an outbreak of bubonic plague that left 20,000 of the city's residents dead. In 1596, Sigismund III of the House of Vesa moved the administrative capital of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth from Krakow to Warsaw. 19th century Already weakened during the 18th century, by the mid-1790s the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth had twice been partitioned by its neighbors, Russia, the Habsburg Empire and Prussia. In 1791, the Austrian and Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II changed the status of Kazimierz as a separate city and made it into a district of Krakow. The richer Jewish families began to move out. However, because of the injunction against travel on the Sabbath, most Jewish families stayed relatively close to the historic synagogues. In 1794, Tadeusz Kosciuszko initiated an unsuccessful insurrection in the town's main square which, in spite of his victorious battle of Rotswavitsa against a numerically superior Russian army, resulted in the third and final partition of Poland. In 1809, Napoleon Bonaparte captured former Polish territories from Austria and made the town part of the Duchy of Warsaw. Following Napoleon's defeat, the 1815 Congress of Vienna restored the pre-war boundaries but also created the partially independent free city of Krakow. An insurrection in 1846 failed, resulting in the city being annexed by Austria under the name the Grand Duchy of Krakow. In 1866, Austria granted a degree of autonomy to Galicia after its own defeat in the Austro-Prussian War. Politically freer Krakow became a Polish national symbol and a center of culture and art, known frequently as the Polish Athens. Many leading Polish artists of the period resided in Krakow, among them the seminal painter Jan Modico, laid to rest at Rakowicki Cemetery, and the founder of modern Polish drama, Stanisław Wyspiański. Fan de siècle Krakow evolved into a modern metropolis. Running water and electric streetcars were introduced in 1901, 
and between 1910 and 1915, Krakow and its surrounding suburban communities were gradually combined into a single administrative unit called Greater Krakow. At the outbreak of World War I on 3 August 1914, Józef Pilsudski formed a small cadre military unit, the first cadre company, the predecessor of the Polish legions, which set out from Krakow to fight for the liberation of Poland. The city was briefly besieged by Russian troops in November 1914. Austrian rule in Krakow ended in 1918 when the Polish Liquidation Committee assumed power. 20th century to the present. With the emergence of the Second Polish Republic, Krakow resumed its role as a major academic and cultural center, with the establishment of new universities such as the AW University of Science and Technology and the Jan Modico Academy of Fine Arts, including a number of new and essential vocational schools. It became an important cultural center for the Polish Jews, including both Zionist and Bundist groups. Krakow was also an influential center of Jewish spiritual life, with all its manifestations of religious observance from Orthodox, to Hasidic and Reform Judaism flourishing side by side. Following the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany in September 1939, the city of Krakow became part of the general government, a separate administrative region of the Third Reich. On 26 October 1939, the Nazi regime constructed District Krakow, one of four total districts within the general government. On the same day, the city of Krakow also became the capital of the administration. The general government was ruled by Hans Frank who was based in the city's Wawel Castle. The Nazis envisioned turning Krakow into a completely Germanist city. After removal of all the Jews and Poles, renaming of locations and streets into the German language, and sponsorship of propaganda trying to portray it as a historically German city. On 28 November 1939 Hans Frank created Judenrate which were to be run by Jewish citizens for the purpose of carrying out orders for the Nazis. These orders included registration of all Jewish people living in the area, the collection of taxes, and forced labor groups. On the eve of the war some 56,000 Jews resided in Krakow, almost one quarter of a total population of about 250,000. By November 1939, the Jewish population of Krakow had grown to approximately 70,000. According to German statistics from 1940, over 200,000 Jews lived within the entire Krakow district, exceeding 5% of the total population in the district. These statistics, however, are likely an underestimate. During an operation called, Sonderaktion Krakow, more than 180 university professors and academics were arrested and sent to Sachsenhausen and Dachau concentration camps, though the survivors were later released on the request of prominent Italians. Before the formation of ghettos, which began in the district in December 1939, Jews were encouraged to flee the city. For those who remained the German authorities decided in March 1941 to allocate a then-suburban neighborhood, Podjors district, to become Krakow's ghetto where so many Jews were destined to die of illness or starvation. Initially, most ghettos were open and Jews were allowed to enter and exit freely. However, with time ghettos were generally closed and security became tighter. From autumn 1941, the SS developed the policy of extermination through labor, which further worsened the already bleak Jewish condition. The ghetto inhabitants were later murdered or sent to German extermination camps, including Belzec and Auschwitz, and to Krakow Plaschow concentration camp. The largest deportations within the district occurred from June to September 1942. More specifically, the Krakow ghetto deportation occurred in the first week of June 1942, and in March 1943 the ghetto was definitely liquidated. Roman Polanski, the film director, is a survivor of the Krakow ghetto, while Oskar Schindler selected employees from the ghetto to work in his enamelware factory, Deutsche Email Warren fabric saving them from the camps. Similarly, many men capable of physical labor were saved from the deportations to extermination camps and instead set to labor camps across the general government. By September 1943, the last of the Jews from the Krakow ghetto were deported. Although looted by occupational authorities, Krakow remained relatively undamaged at the end of World War II, sparing most of the city's historical and architectural legacy. Soviet forces entered the city on 18 January 1945, and began arresting Poles loyal to the Polish government in exile or those who had served in the Home Army. After the war, under the Polish People's Republic, the intellectual and academic community of Krakow was put under complete political control. 
The universities were soon deprived of printing rights and autonomy. The Stalinist government ordered the construction of the country's largest steel mill in the newly created suburb of now Ahuda. The creation of the giant Lenin steelworks sealed Krakow's transformation from a university city, into an industrial center. The new working class, drawn by the industrialization of Krakow, contributed to rapid population growth. In an effort that spanned two decades, Karol Washtila, Cardinal Archbishop of Krakow, successfully lobbied for permission to build the first churches in the newly industrial suburbs. In 1978, Washtila was elevated to the papacy as John Paul II, the first non-Italian pope in 455 years. In the same year, UNESCO following the application of local authorities, placed Krakow Old Town on the first ever list of World Heritage Sites. Geography Krakow lies in the southern part of Poland, on the Vistula River, in a valley at the foot of the Carpathian Mountains, 219 meters above sea level, halfway between the Jurassic Rock Upland to the north, and the Tatra Mountains 100 kilometers to the south, constituting the natural border with Slovakia and the Czech Republic, 230 kilometers west from the border with Ukraine. There are five nature reserves in Krakow, with a combined area of ca. 48.6 hectares. Due to their ecological value, these areas are legally protected. The western part of the city, along its northern and northwestern side, borders an area of international significance known as the Jurassic Bilani Tiniak Refuge. The main motives for the protection of this area include plant and animal wildlife and the area's geomorphological features and landscape. Another part of the city is located within the ecological corridor of the Vistula River Valley. This corridor is also assessed as being of international significance as part of the Pan-European Ecological Network. The city center is situated on the left bank of the river. Climate. Officially, Krakow has a temperate oceanic climate, denoted by Köppen classification as CFB, best defined as a semi-continental climate. In older reference periods it was classified as a warm summer continental climate. By classification of Winston T. Akalovich, it has a warm temperate climate in the center of continental Europe with the fusion of different features. Due to its geographic location, the city may be under marine influence, sometimes Arctic influence, but without direct influence, giving the city variable meteorological conditions over short spaces of time. Being towards Eastern Europe and a relatively considerable distance from the sea, Krakow has significant temperature differences according to the progress of different air masses, having four defined seasons of the year. Average temperatures in summer range from 18.6 to 20.4 degrees Celsius and in winter from minus 0.6 to 0.8 degrees Celsius. The average annual temperature is 10.0 degrees Celsius. In summer temperatures often exceed 25 degrees Celsius, even reaching 30 degrees Celsius, while in winter temperatures drop to minus 5 degrees Celsius at night and about 0 degrees Celsius during the day. During very cold nights the temperature can drop to minus 15 degrees Celsius. The city lies near the Tatra Mountains, there are often occurrences of Halmi blowing, causing temperatures to rise rapidly, and even in winter reach up to 20 degrees Celsius. In relation to Warsaw, temperatures are very similar for most of the year, except that in the colder months southern Poland has a larger daily temperature range, more moderate winds generally more rainy days and with greater chances of clear skies on average, especially in winter. The lower sun angle also allows for a larger growing season. In addition, for older data there was less sun than the capital of the country, about 30 minutes daily per year, but both have small differences in relative humidity and the direction of the winds is northeast. The climate table below presents weather data from the years 2000 to 2012 although the official Köppen reference period was from 1981 to 2010. According to ongoing measurements, the temperature has increased during these years as compared with the last series. This increase averages about 0.6 degrees Celsius over all months. Warming is most pronounced during the winter months, with an increase of more than 1.0 degrees Celsius in January. Cityscape. Developed over many centuries, Krakow provides a showcase setting for many historic styles of architecture. As the city expanded, so too did the architectural achievements of its builders. It is for this reason that the variations in style and urban planning are so easily recognizable. Built from its earliest nucleus outward, and having escaped much of the destruction endured by Poland during the 20th century wars, 
Krakow's many architectural monuments can typically be seen in historical order by walking from the city center out, towards its later districts. Krakow is one of the few medieval towns in Poland that does not have a historic Radis town hall in its main square, because it has not survived the partitions of Poland. Krakow's historic center, which includes the Old Town, Kazimierz and the Wawel Castle, was included as the first of its kind on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1978. The Stare Miasto is the most prominent example of an old town in the country. For many centuries Krakow was the royal capital of Poland, until Sigismund III Vasa relocated the court to Warsaw in 1596. The whole district is bisected by the Royal Road, the coronation route traversed by the kings of Poland. The route begins at St. Florian's Church outside the northern flank of the old city walls in the medieval suburb of Klepars, passes the Barbican of Krakow built in 1499, and enters Stair Miasto through the Florian Gate. It leads down Florianska Street through the main square, and up Grodzka to Wawel, the former seat of Polish royalty, overlooking the Vistula River. Old Town attracts visitors from all over the world. Krakow Historic Center is one of the 13 places in Poland that are included in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The architectural design of the district had survived all cataclysms of the past and retained its original form coming from the medieval times. The old town of Krakow is home to about 6,000 historic sites and more than 2 million works of art. Its rich variety of heritage architecture includes Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque buildings. Krakow's palaces, churches, theaters and mansions display great variety of color, architectural details, stained glass, paintings, sculptures, and furnishings. In addition to the old town, the city's district of Kazimierz is particularly notable for its many Renaissance buildings and picturesque streets, as well as the historic Jewish quarter located in the northeastern part of Kazimierz. Kazimierz was founded in the 14th century to the southeast of the city center and soon became a wealthy, well-populated area where construction of imposing properties became commonplace. Perhaps the most important feature of medieval Kazimierz was the only major, permanent bridge across the northern arm of the Vistula. This natural barrier used to separate Kazimierz from the old town for several centuries, while the bridge connected Krakow to the Wielicka salt mine and the lucrative Hungarian trade route. The last structure at this location was dismantled in 1880 when the northern arm of the river was filled in with earth and rock, and subsequently built over. By the 1930s, Krakow had 120 officially registered synagogues and prayer houses that spanned across the old city. Much of Jewish intellectual life had moved to new centers like Podjors. This in turn, led to the redevelopment and renovation of much of Kazimierz and the development of new districts in Krakow. Most historic buildings in central Kazimierz today are preserved in their original form. Some old buildings, however, were not repaired after the devastation brought by the Second World War, and have remained empty. Most recent efforts at restoring the historic neighborhoods gained new impetus around 1993. Kazimierz is now a well-visited area, seeing a booming growth in Jewish-themed restaurants, bars, bookstores and souvenir shops. As the city of Krakow began to expand further under the rule of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the new architectural styles also developed. Key buildings from the 19th and early 20th centuries in Krakow include the Jan Modico Academy of Fine Arts, the Directorate of the Polish State Railways as well as the original complex of Krakow Gloni Railway Station and the city's Academy of Economics. It was also at around that time that Krakow's first radial boulevards began to appear, with the city undergoing a large-scale program aimed at transforming the ancient Polish capital into a sophisticated regional center of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. New representative government buildings and multi-story tenement houses were built at around that time. Much of the urban planning beyond the walls of the old town was done by Polish architects and engineers trained in Vienna. Some major projects of the era include the development of the Jagiellonian University's new premises and the building of the Collegium Novum just west of the old town. The imperial style planning of the city's further development continued until the return of Poland's independence, following the First World War. Early modernist style in Krakow is represented by such masterpieces as the Palace of Art by Franciszek Mazinski and the House Under the Globe. Secession style architecture, which had arrived in Krakow from Vienna, became popular towards the end of the partitions. With Poland's regained independence came the major change in the fortunes of Krakow, now the second most important city of a sovereign nation. 
the state began to make new plans for the city development and commissioned a number of representative buildings. The predominant style for new projects was modernism with various interpretations of the Art Deco style. Important buildings constructed in the style of Polish modernism include the Fenix Lot building on Bastawa Street, the Fenix department store on the main square and the municipal savings bank on Szczepanski Square. The Józef Pilsudski House is also of note as a particularly good example of interwar architecture in the city. After the Second World War, new government turned toward Soviet influence and the Stalinist monumentalism. The doctrine of socialist realism in Poland, as in other countries of the People's Republics, was enforced from 1949 to 1956. It involved all domains of art, but its most spectacular achievements were made in the field of urban design. The guidelines for this new trend were spelled out in a 1949 resolution of the National Council of Party Architects. Architecture was to become a weapon in establishing the new social order by the communists. The ideological impact of urban design was valued more than aesthetics. It aimed at expressing persistence in power. This form of architecture was implemented in the new industrial district of Nau Ahuda with apartment blocks constructed according to a Stalinist blueprint, with repetitious courtyards and wide, tree-lined avenues. Since the style of the Renaissance was generally regarded as the most revered in old Polish architecture, it was also used for augmenting Poland's socialist national format. However, in the course of incorporating the principles of socialist realism, there were quite a few deviations introduced by the communists. One of these was to more closely reflect Soviet architecture, which resulted in the majority of works blending into one another. From 1953, critical opinions in the party were increasingly frequent, and the doctrine was given up in 1956 marking the end of Stalinism. The SOC Realist Center of Nau Ahuda is considered to be a meritorious monument of the times. This period in post-war architecture was followed by the mass construction of large panel system apartment blocks, most of which were built outside the city center and thus do not encroach upon the beauty of the old or new towns. Some examples of the new style recently listed as heritage monuments were built during the latter half of the 20th century in Krakow. After the revolutions of 1989 and the birth of the Third Republic in the latter half of the 20th century, a number of new architectural projects were completed, including the construction of large business parks and commercial facilities such as the Galeria Krakowska, or infrastructure investments like the Krakow Fast Tram. A good example of this would be the Manga Museum of Japanese Art and Technology designed by Arata Isozaki, the 2007 built Pawilan Weisbianski 2000, which is used as a multi-purpose information and exhibition space, or the Malopolsky Garden of Arts, a multi-purpose exhibition and theater complex located in the historic old town. Parks and Gardens. There are about 40 parks in Krakow including dozens of gardens and forests. Several, like the Planty Park, Botanical Garden, Zoological Garden, Park Krakowski, Jordan Park and Blonia Park are located in the center of the city, with Zakrzawik, Lasek Volski Forest, Strzeleki Park and Park Lotnikov in the surrounding districts. Parks cover about 318.5 hectares of the city. The Planty Park is the best known park in Krakow. It was established between 1822 and 1830 in place of the old city walls, forming a green belt around the old town. It consists of a chain of smaller gardens designed in various styles and adorned with monuments. The park has an area of 21 hectares and a length of 4 kilometers, forming a scenic walkway popular with Krakowians. The Jordan Park founded in 1889 by Dr. Henrik Jordan, was the first public park of its kind in Europe. The park built on the banks of the Rudawa River was equipped with running and exercise tracks, playgrounds, the swimming pool, amphitheater, pavilions, and a pond for boat rowing and water bicycles. It is located on the grounds of a larger Krakow's Blonia Park. The less prominent park Krakowski was founded in 1885 by Stanislaw Raman but has since been greatly reduced in size because of rapid real estate development. It was a popular destination point with many Krakowians at the end of the 19th century. Environment. There are five nature reserves in Krakow with a total area of 48.6 hectares. Smaller green zones constitute parts of the Krakow Czestochowa Upland Jurassic Landscape Parks Board, which deals with the protection areas of the Polish Jura. Under its jurisdiction are the Bileni Tiniak Landscape Park, Tenchinek Landscape Park, and Krakow Valley's Landscape Park, with their watersheds. 
All natural reserves of the Polish Jura chain are part of the Korean Biotopes program due to their unique flora, fauna, geomorphology and landscape. The western part of Krakow constitutes the so-called Obscure Krakowski Ecological Network, including the ecological corridor of the Vistula River. The southern slopes of limestone hills provide conditions for the development of thermophilus vegetation, grasslands and scrubs. The city is spaced along an extended latitudinal transect of the Vistula River Valley with a network of tributaries including its right tributary Wilga, and left, Rudawa, Bialucha, Delubnia and Sanka. The rivers and their valleys along with bodies of water are some of the most interesting natural wonders of Krakow. Krakow and its environment, surrounded by mountains, suffer from Europe's dirtiest air pollution because of smog, caused by burning coal for heating, especially in winter. Governance. The Krakow City Council has 43 elected members, one of whom is the mayor, or president of Krakow, elected every four years. The election of the city council and of the local head of government, which takes place at the same time, is based on legislation introduced on the 20th of June 2002. The president of Krakow, re-elected for his fourth term in 2014, is Jacek Mikrowski. Several members of the Polish National Parliament are elected from the Krakow constituency. The city's official symbols include a coat of arms, a flag, a seal, and a banner. The responsibilities of Krakow's president include drafting and implementing resolutions, enacting city bylaws, managing the city budget, employing city administrators, and preparing against floods and natural disasters. The president fulfills his duties with the help of the city council, city managers and city inspectors. In the 1990s, the city government was reorganized to better differentiate between its political agenda and administrative functions. As a result, the Office of Public Information was created to handle inquiries and foster communication between city departments and citizens at large. In 2000, the city government introduced a new long-term program called, Safer City, in cooperation with the police, traffic, social services, fire, public safety, and the youth departments. Subsequently, the number of criminal offenses went down by 3% between 2000 and 2001, and the rate of detection increased by 1.4% to a total of 30.2% in the same period. The city is receiving help in carrying out the program from all educational institutions and the local media, including TV, radio and the press. Districts. Krakow is divided into 18 administrative districts or boroughs, each with a degree of autonomy within its own municipal government. Prior to March 1991, the city had been divided into four quarters which still give a sense of identity to Krakow. The towns of Pajors, Nawahuda, and Krawaja which were amalgamated into the city of Krakow as it expanded, and the ancient town center of Krakow itself. The oldest neighborhoods of Krakow were incorporated into the city before the late 18th century. They include the old town, once contained within the city defensive walls and now encircled by the Planty Park the Vavil district, which is the site of the royal castle and the cathedral, Stratum and Casimirs with its historic Jewish quarter, the latter originally divided into Christian and Jewish quarters, as well as the ancient town of Klepars. Major districts added in the 19th and 20th centuries include Podjors, which until 1915, was a separate town on the southern bank of the Vistula, and now Ahuda, east of the city center, built after World War II. Among the most notable historic districts of the city are Wawel Hill, home to Wawel Castle and Wawel Cathedral, where many historic Polish kings are buried. The medieval old town, with its main market square. Dozens of old churches and museums. The 14th century buildings of the Jagiellonian University. And Kazimierz, the historical center of Krakow's Jewish social and religious life. The Old Town District of Krakow is home to about 6,000 historic sites, and more than 2 million works of art. Its rich variety of historic architecture includes Renaissance, Baroque and Gothic buildings. Krakow's palaces, churches and mansions display great variety of color, architectural details, stained glass, paintings, sculptures, and furnishings. In the market square stands the Gothic Street Mary's Basilica. It was rebuilt in the 14th century and features the famous wooden altar, the largest Gothic altarpiece in the world, carved by Veit Stoss. From the church's main tower a trumpet call, is sounded every hour. The melody, which used to announce the opening and closing of city gates, ends unexpectedly in midstream. According to legend, 
The tune was played during the 13th century Tatar invasion by a guard warning citizens against the attack. He was shot by an archer of the invading Tatar forces whilst playing, the bugle call breaking off at the moment he died. The story was recounted in a book published in 1928 called The Trumpeter of Krakow, by Eric P. Kelly, which won a Newbery Award. The current divisions were introduced by the Krakow City Hall on 19 April 1995. Districts were assigned Roman numerals as well as the name. Stare Miasto, Grzegorski, Pradnik Trevoni, Pradnik Bialy, Lobzo, Bronovica, Zwerzenik, Debniki, Laguniki Boric Filecki, Swazowis, Podjors Dushaki, Bizanau Prokosim, Podjors, Sizani, Mischievica, Binchis, Wasgorza Krzeslawicki, and Nauahuda. Map of Districts of the City of Krakow. Interactive Map. For more information, click on District Number. Economy. Krakow is one of Poland's most important economic centers and the economic hub of the Lesser Poland region. Since the fall of communism, the private sector has been growing steadily. There are about 50 large multinational companies in the city, including Google, IBM, Royal Dutch Shell, UBS, HSBC, Motorola, Aptiv, Man SE, General Electric, AB, Aon, Akamai, Cisco Systems, Hitachi, Philip Morris, Capgemini, and Sabre Holdings, along with other British, German and Scandinavian-based firms. The city is also the global headquarters for Comerch, a Polish enterprise software house. Krakow is the second most visited city in Poland. According to the World Investment Report 2011 by the UN Conference for Trade and Development, Krakow is also the most emergent city location for investment in global BPO projects in the world. In 2011, the city budget, which is presented by the mayor of Krakow on 15 November annually, has a projected revenue of 3 billion 500 million zloty. The primary sources of revenue were as follows. 14% from the municipal taxation on real estate properties and the use of amenities, 30% in transfers from the national budget, and 34% in state subsidies. Projected expenditures, totaling 3,520,000,000 zloty, included 21% in city development costs and 79% in city maintenance costs. Of the maintenance costs, as much as 39% were spent on education and childcare. The city of Krakow's development costs included 41% toward construction of roads, transport, and communication, and 25% for the city's infrastructure and environment. The city has a high bond credit rating, and some 60% of the population is under the age of 45. Unity Tower was completed in 2020 after almost 30 years, creating a new business and residential center. It is the tallest building in the city. Entrepreneurship. Krakow has a long history of entrepreneurship, perhaps best reflected in the fact the most important square in the city is called the Main Market Square. Startup Community Since the early 2000s a startup community has emerged in Krakow, in the early days the Krakow. Europe's Silicon Valley webpage was the online hub of the community. Most important now is the OMGKRK Foundation and its Facebook group which has over 5,000 members and acts as a community notice board for the startup community. Entrepreneurs Jan Thurzo, a Hungarian entrepreneur and mining engineer who was from 1477 an alderman and later mayor of Krakow. He established the Fugger Thurzo company with Jakob Fugger. Fugger monopolized copper mining and trade in the Holy Roman Empire around 1500 and has been described as the richest man who has ever lived. Michal Hornstein, born in Krakow, and graduate of a Krakow business school, escaped from a Nazi death camp transport. He moved to Montreal in 1951 where he founded Federal Construction Limited, a real estate company focusing on apartments and shopping centers. He was recognized as a major philanthropist in Montreal and supported the arts, education and medicine, for example with this gift of old masters to the Montreal Museum of Fine Arts. Helena Rubinstein, born in Krakow, established the Helena Rubinstein Inc. Cosmetics company which was sold to Colgate Palmolive in 1973 for $142.3 million in stock and cash, and was said to be one of the world's richest women. Janusz Filipiak established the successful IT company Comerch in 1993 which in 2018 employs 5,500 people, and sponsors the Krakowia football team. Peter Willem established the Pascal Publishing House, the internet portal Onet.pl and Seed Capital Fund Innovation Nest. Knowledge and Innovation Community 
Krakow is one of the co-location centers of knowledge and innovation community of the European Institute of Innovation and Technology. Inno Energy is an integrated alliance of reputable organizations from the education, research and industry sectors. It was created based on long-standing links of cooperation as well as the principles of excellence. The partners have jointly developed a strategy to tackle the weaknesses of the European innovation landscape in the field of sustainable energy. Transport. Public transport is based on a fairly dense network of tram and bus routes operated by a municipal company, supplemented by a number of private minibus operators. Local trains connect some of the suburbs. The bulk of the city's historic area has been turned into a pedestrian zone with rickshaws and horse-drawn carriages. However, the trams run within a three-block radius. The historic means of transportation in the city can be examined at the Museum of Municipal Engineering in the Casimirs district, with many old trams, cars and buses. Railway connections are available to most Polish cities, e.g. Katowice, Czestochowa, Szczecin, Gdynia and Warsaw. International destinations include Bratislava, Budapest, Vienna, Prague, Berlin, Hamburg, Lviv, Kiev, and Odessa. The main railway station is located just outside the Old Town District and is well served by public transport. Krakow's Airport, officially named Krakow John Paul II International Airport, is located 11 kilometers west of the city. Direct trains cover the route between Krakow Gloni train station and the airport in 20 minutes. Krakow Airport served around 5,800,000 passengers in 2017. Also, the Katowice International Airport is located 80 kilometers or about 75 minutes from Krakow. In autumn 2016 Poland's oldest bicycle sharing system was modernized and now offers 1,500 bikes at 150 stations under the name of Wavelo, which is owned by Bike U of the French multinational company Egus. Demographics Krakow had a recorded population of 774,839 in 2019. According to the 2006 data, the population of Krakow comprised about 2% of the population of Poland and 23% of the population of the Lesser Poland Voivodeship. Selected demographic indicators are presented in a table, compiled on the basis of only the population living in Krakow permanently. The larger metropolitan area of the city encompasses a territory in which 1,393,893 inhabitants live. Already in the Middle Ages, the population of Krakow consisting of numerous ethnic groups, began to grow rapidly. It doubled between 1100 and 1300 from 5000 to 10,000, and in 1400 counted 14,000 inhabitants. By 1550, the population of metropolitan Krakow was 18,000, although it went down to 15,000 in the next 50 years due to calamity. By the early 17th century the Krakow population had reached 28,000 inhabitants. In the historical 1931 census preceding World War II, 78.1% of Krakowians declared Polish as their primary language, with Yiddish or Hebrew at 20.9%, Ukrainian 0.4%, German 0.3%, and Russian 0.1%. The ravages of history have greatly reduced the percentage of ethnic minorities living in Krakow. In the 2002 census, 1,895 of Krakow's inhabitants declared non-Polish national identity, the most numerous were, Romani people, Ukrainians and Russians. Many immigrants from other countries, particularly from Eastern Europe, settle in Krakow. As of 2019 10% of Krakow's population are foreigners, most of them Ukrainians. Population growth in Krakow since 1791. Religion. The metropolitan city of Krakow is known as the City of Churches. The abundance of landmark, historic temples along with the plenitude of monasteries and convents earned the city a countrywide reputation as the Northern Rome in the past. The churches of Krakow comprise over 120 places of worship of which over 65 were built in the 20th century. More are still being added. In addition to Roman Catholicism, other denominations present include Jehovah's Witnesses, Mariavite Church, Polish Catholic Church, Polish Orthodox Church, Protestantism and Latter-day Saints. As of 2017, weekly mass attendance in the Archdiocese of Krakow was 49.9%, above the national Polish average of 38.3%. Krakow contains also an outstanding collection of monuments of Jewish sacred architecture unmatched anywhere in Poland. Krakow was an influential center of Jewish spiritual life before the outbreak of World War II, 
with all its manifestations of religious observance from Orthodox to Hasidic and Reform flourishing side by side. There were at least 90 synagogues in Krakow active before the Nazi German invasion of Poland, serving its burgeoning Jewish community of 60,000 to 80,000, established since the early 12th century. Most synagogues of Krakow were ruined during World War II by the Nazis who despoiled them of all ceremonial objects, and used them as storehouses for ammunition, firefighting equipment, as general storage facilities and stables. The post-Holocaust Jewish population of the city had dwindled to about 5,900 before the end of the 1940s. Poland was the only Eastern Bloc country to allow free Jewish Aliyah without visas or exit permits upon the conclusion of World War II. By contrast, Stalin forcibly kept Russian Jews in the Soviet Union, as agreed to in the Yalta Conference. In recent time, thanks to efforts of the local Jewish and Polish organizations including foreign financial aid from the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee, many synagogues underwent major restorations and serve religious and tourist purposes. Education. Krakow is a major center of education. 24 institutions of higher education offer courses in the city, with more than 200,000 students. Jagiellonian University, the oldest university in Poland and ranked by the Times Higher Education Supplement as the second best university in the country, was founded in 1364 as Studium Generale and renamed in 1817 to commemorate the Royal Jagiellonian Dynasty of Poland and Lithuania. Its principal academic asset is the Jagiellonian Library, with more than 4 million volumes, including a large collection of medieval manuscripts like Copernicus de Revolutionibus and the Balthasar Bohem Codex. With 42,325 students and 3,605 academic staff, the Jagiellonian University is also one of the leading research centers in Poland. Famous historical figures connected with the university include St. John Cantius, Jan de Lugos, Nicolaus Copernicus, Andrzej Frycz Modrzewski, Jan Kahanowski, King John III Sobieski, Pope John Paul II and Nobel laureates Ivo Andrik and Wisława Samborska. All University of Science and Technology, established in 1919, is the largest technical university in Poland, with more than 15 faculties and student enrollment exceeding 30,000. It was ranked by the Polish edition of Newsweek as the best technical university in the country in 2004. During its 80-year history, more than 73,000 students graduated from all with master's or bachelor's degrees. Some 3,600 persons were granted the degree of Doctor of Science, and about 900 obtained the qualification of habilitated doctor. Other institutions of higher learning include Academy of Music in Krakow first conceived as conservatory in 1888, one of the oldest and most prestigious conservatories in Central Europe and a major concert venue. Krakow University of Economics, established in 1925. Pedagogical University, in operation since 1946. Agricultural University of Krakow, offering courses since 1890. Academy of Fine Arts. The oldest fine arts academy in Poland, founded by the Polish painter Jan Modico, Ludwig Solski Academy for the Dramatic Arts, the Pontifical Academy of Theology, and Krakow University of Technology, which has more than 37,000 graduates. Scientific societies and their branches in Krakow conduct scientific and educational work in local and countrywide scale. The Academy of Learning, Krakow Scientific Society, Association of Law Students Library of the Jagiellonian University, Polish Copernicus Society of Naturalists, Polish Geological Society, Polish Theological Society in Krakow, Polish Section of Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and Polish Society for Synchrotron Radiation all have their main seats in Krakow. Culture. Krakow was named the official European Capital of Culture for the year 2000 by the European Union. It is a major attraction for both local and international tourists, attracting nearly 13 million visitors a year. Major landmarks include the main market square with St. Mary's Basilica and the Sukianis Cloth Hall, the Wawel Castle, the National Art Museum, the Zygmunt Bell at the Wawel Cathedral, and the medieval St. Florian's Gate with the Barbican along the Royal Coronation Route. Krakow has 28 museums and public art galleries. Among them is the Zartorski Museum featuring works by Leonardo da Vinci and Rembrandt as well as the EUROPEUM, European Culture Center and the Archaeological Museum of Krakow whose collection highlights include the Zebrick Idol and the Bronisis Pot. Museums and National Art Galleries. 
Prakas 28 museums are separated into the national and municipal museums. The city also has a number of art collections and public art galleries. The National Museum, established in 1879, as well as the National Art Collection on Vavil Hill, are all accessible to the general public and well patroned. The National Art Collection is located at the Vavil, the former residence of three dynasties of Polish monarchs. Royal chambers feature art, period furniture, Polish and European paintings, collectibles, and an unsurpassed display of the 16th century monumental Flemish tapestries. Vavil Treasury and Armory features Polish royal memorabilia, jewels, applied art, and 15th to 18th century arms. The Vavil Eastern Collection features Turkish tents and military accessories. The National Museum is the richest museum in the country with collections consisting of several hundred thousand items kept in big part in the main building at all. 3 Maha. Although there are as many as 11 separate divisions of the museum in the city, one of the most popular being the gallery of the 19th century Polish art in Sukienice with the collection of some of the best known paintings and sculptures of the Young Poland movement. The latest division called Europium with Bruegel among a hundred Western European paintings was inaugurated in 2013. Other major museums of special interest in Krakow include the Manga Museum of Japanese Art and Technology, Stanislaw Wyspianski Museum, Jan Modico Manor in Kreslawica, a museum devoted to the master painter and his life, Emmerich Hutton Chapsky Museum, and Józef Miafer Manor. The Rheinick Underground Museum, under the main square, is an evocative modern display of Krakow's 1,000 plus years of history though its streets, activities and artifacts. This followed the massively extended excavations which started in a small way in 2005 and, as more and more was found, ran on eventually to 2010. A half an hour tram ride takes you to the little heralded Polish Aviation Museum considered 8th world's best aviation museum by CNN and featuring over 200 aircraft including a Sopwith Camel among other First World War biplanes. A comprehensive display of aero engines, and essentially a complete collection of airplane types developed by Poland after 1945. Activities of small museums around Krakow and in the Lesser Poland region are promoted and supported by the Malopolska Institute of Culture. The institute organizes annual Malopolska Heritage Days. Performing Arts. The city has several famous theaters, including the Narodowy Stary Theater, the Julius Slowacki Theater, the Bagatella Theater, the Ludowy Theater, and the Groteska Theater of Puppetry, as well as the opera Krakowska and Krakow Operetta. The city's principal concert hall and the home of the Krakow Philharmonic Orchestra is the Krakow Philharmonic built in 1931. Krakow hosts many annual and biannual artistic events, some of international significance such as the Mysteria Pascalia, Sacrum Profanum, the Krakow Screen Festival, the Festival of Polish Music, Dedications, the Krakow Film Festival, Ediuta and Anima International Film Festival, Biennial of Graphic Arts, and the Jewish Culture Festival. Krakow was the residence of two Polish Nobel laureates in literature, Wisława Samborska and Czesław Miłosz. A third Nobel laureate, the Yugoslav writer Ivo Andrik, lived and studied in Krakow. Other former longtime residents include internationally renowned Polish film directors Andrzej Wajda and Roman Polanski, both of whom are Academy Award winners. Music. Opera Krakowska one of the leading national opera companies, stages 200 performances each year including ballet, operettas and musicals. It has, in its main repertoire, the greatest world and Polish opera classics. The opera moved into its first permanent house in the autumn of 2008. It is in charge also of the Summer Festival of Opera and Operetta. Krakow is home to two major Polish festivals of early music presenting forgotten Baroque oratorios and operas. Opera Rara, and Mysteria Pascalia. Meanwhile, Capella Krakowiensis runs the music in Old Krakow International Festival. Academy of Music in Krakow, founded in 1888, is known worldwide as the alma mater of the contemporary Polish composer Krzysztof Penderecki and it is also the only one in Poland to have two winners of the International Chopin Competition in Warsaw among its alumni. The Academy organizes concerts of its students and guests throughout the whole year. Music organizations and venues include Krakow Philharmonic, Sinfonietta Krakowia, the Polish Radio Choir of Krakow, Organum Academic Choir, the Mixed Mariansky Choir, Krakow Academic Choir of the Jagiellonian University, the Krakow Chamber Choir, Amar Chord String Quartet,
Consortium Iagelonicum Baroque Orchestra of the Jagiellonian University, Brass Band of T. Senjamir Steelworks, and Camerata Chamber Orchestra of Radio Krakow. Tourism. According to official statistics, in 2019 Krakow was visited by over 14 million tourists including 3.3 million foreign travelers. The visitors spent over 7.5 billion zloty in the city. Most foreign tourists came from Germany, United Kingdom, Italy, France, Spain and Ukraine. The Krakow tour guide from the Lesser Poland Visitors Bureau indicated that not all statistics are recorded due to the considerable number of those who come, staying in readily available private rooms paid for by cash, especially from Eastern Europe. The main reasons for visiting the city are, its historical monuments, recreation as well as relatives and friends, religion and business. There are 120 quality hotels in Krakow offering 15,485 overnight accommodations. The average stay lasts for about four to seven nights. The survey conducted among the travelers showed that they enjoyed the city's friendliness most, with 90% of Polish tourists and 87% foreigners stating that they would recommend visiting it. Notable points of interest outside the city include the Wielicka salt mine, the Tatra Mountains 100 km to the south, the historic city of Czestochowa, the well-preserved former Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz, and Ojkowski National Park, which includes the Renaissance Castle at Pieskowa Scala. Krakow has been awarded a number of top international rankings such as the first place in the Top City Break Destinations 2014 survey conducted by the British Witch. Sports. Krakow was the host city of the 2014 FIVB Men's Volleyball World Championship and 2016 European Men's Handball Championship. It has also been selected as the European City of Sport for 2014. Football is one of the most popular sports in the city. The two teams with the largest following are 13-time Polish champion Wisła Krakow and 5-time champion Krakowia, both founded in 1906 as the oldest still existing in Poland. They have been involved in the most intense rivalry in the country and one of the most intense in all of Europe, known as the Holy War. Other football clubs include Hutnik Krakow, Wawel Krakow, and one-time Polish champion Garbarnia Krakow. There is also the first league rugby club Juvenia Krakow. Krakow has a number of additional, equally valued sports teams including 12-time Polish ice hockey champions Krakowia and the 20-time women's basketball champions Wisła Krakow. The Krakowia Marathon, with over a thousand participants from two dozen countries annually, has been held in the city since 2002. Poland's first F1 racing driver Robert Kubica was born and brought up in Krakow, as was former WWE Tag Team Champion Ivan Putski, and top 10 ranked women's tennis player Agnieszka Rodwinska. The construction of a new Toron Arena Krakow began in May 2010. For concerts, indoor athletics, hockey, basketball, futsal and other events. The facility area has 61,434 meters, with maximum area of the arena court of 4,546 meters. The average capacity is 18,000 for concerts, and 15,000 for sport events, with maximum number of spectators being 22,000. The arena boasts Poland's largest LED media facade, with a total surface of 5,200 meters of LED strip lighting, wrapping around the stadium, and one of Europe's largest LED screens, measuring over 540 meters. Krakow was bidding to host the 2022 Winter Olympics with Jasna but the bid was rejected by a majority of the vote in a referendum on 16 May 2014. The referendum was organized after a wave of criticism from citizens who believed that the Olympics would not promote the city. The organizing committee of Krakow 2022 spent almost $40,000 to pay for a citizen-approved logo, but many citizens considered this a waste of public money. The committee was rumored to have fraudulently used several million zlotys for unknown expenses. In May 2019, the Polish Olympic Committee announced Krakow as host of the Polish bid for the 2023 European Games. On the 22nd of June 2019, the European Olympic Committees at the General Assembly in Minsk, Belarus announced that Krakow will host the 2023 edition. Notable people, international relations, contemporary foreign names for the city, Krakow is referred to by various names in different languages. An old English name for the city is Krakow. Though it has become less common in recent decades, some sources still use it. The city is known in Czech, Slovak and Serbian as Krakow, in Hungarian as Krakow, in Lithuanian as Krokova, in Finnish as Krakowa, 
in German and Dutch as Krakow, in Latin, Spanish and Italian as Krakowia, in French as Krakowie, in Portuguese as Krakowia and in Russian as Krakow. Ukrainian and Yiddish languages refer to it as Krakiv and Kroki respectively. Twin towns and sister cities. Krakow is twinned, or maintains close relations, with 36 cities around the world. Batu, Indonesia. Bordeaux, France. Bratislava, Slovakia. Budapest, Hungary. Cambridge, Massachusetts, US. Curitiba, Brazil. Cusco, Peru. Edinburgh, Scotland. Fes, Morocco. Florence, Italy. Frankfurt, Germany. Gotbog, Sweden. Grozny, Russia. Guadalajara, Mexico. Innsbruck, Austria. Kiev, Ukraine. La Serena, Chile. Leipzig, Germany. Leuven, Belgium. Lviv, Ukraine. Malang, Indonesia. Milan, Italy. Nuremberg, Germany. Orléans, France. Pech, Hungary. Quito, Ecuador. Rochester, New York, US. Rome, Italy. San Francisco, US. Seville, Spain. Solothurn, Switzerland. Split, Croatia. Tbilisi, Georgia. Veliko Tarnovo, Bulgaria. Vilnius, Lithuania. Zagreb, Croatia.
Any ideas?
Oh, 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 oh,